Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a Diophantine equation. x squared plus y squared is equal to z to the fourth power. Now, this is a pretty interesting equation because if you had z to the second power, this would be the Pythagorean theorem. Or if you had just fourth powers, then it would look like Fermat's last theorem, at least the n equals 4 case, right? But it's neither one, so it's a pretty interesting equation, and this equation has solutions. So let's go ahead and find those solutions. Of course, I'm talking about finding infinitely many solutions here, so we're going to express our solutions using integer parameters. All right, cool. Let's get started. In order to be able to solve this equation first, I'm going to turn this into a Pythagorean type equation. All right, so what am I going to do? First of all, I'm going to replace z squared with something. So let's go ahead and write this equation as x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared squared. Now, if I replace z squared with something, let's say z squared equals u, then I should be getting the Pythagorean theorem, right? x squared plus y squared is equal to u squared. Now, this equation obviously has solutions, and as you know, from 3, 4, 5 triangle, 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17, so on and so forth, there are infinitely many Pythagorean triples that satisfy this equation, right? And I just talked about the basic ones. Of course, there are infinitely many of them. But how do you find them? There is a way to generate those triples, which I'm not going to go into the details of. Maybe in another video we can talk about that because I don't want to keep this video too long. Okay, so here's how it goes. If you have this type of equation, and we can easily verify that, let me just briefly mention one identity that we've been using a lot in many different videos. So one of these, and especially in geometry puzzles, I think we use this identity. So if you go ahead and take m squared plus n squared and square it, and from that if you subtract m squared minus n squared squared, as you know, like, this looks like a plus b quant squared minus a minus b quant squared. As you know, the answer is always 4ab. So this is going to be 4m squared n squared. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, if you go ahead and isolate m squared plus n squared squared here by itself, then you're basically going to be getting the equation as m squared minus n squared quantity squared plus 4m squared n squared can basically be written as the square of 2mn. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, this just shows you that we found triples that satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. Of course, it, this doesn't explain where they come from. Like I said earlier, maybe in another video we can talk about this, but anyways, at least we know that we can safely say that from this equation, basically. We can safely say that, hey, what about assuming that this is equal to x, this is equal to y, and this is equal to u. In our equation, u replaces kind of z squared. Okay, now, this gives us a nice solution for this equation, but remember our goal is to solve for x, y, z, not for x, y, u. But let's go ahead and write these down at least for now. Let's see what we get from here. So we get x equals m squared minus n squared, and then we get y, y equals 2mn, and u equals m squared plus n squared. Of course, we want these to be positive integers, therefore I'm just going to uh, assume that a, m is greater than n, and in this case, they are both integers, and positive integers, of course. Okay, now, what am I going to get from here? Well, we kind of found a solution in two parameters, m and n, for this equation, but uh, my goal is to get to z. Now, let's go ahead and find z from here. How do we find z? Well, remember what z equals, right, or what u equals. We said that, well, u is equal to z squared, right? So if you go ahead and replace u with z squared, what are you getting? Interesting, right? Well, you get another Pythagorean theorem formula. So this is the one that we're going to work on now. So what is that supposed to mean? Well, I kind of have the same type of equation that we can solve with similar parameters, but of course we have to use different variables this time as parameters. Let's just use a and b. So since this equation is satisfied for m and z that are integers, I can safely say that there are integers a and b such that a is greater than b, m equals, and how am I going to write it using a and b, m equals a squared minus b squared, n equals 2ab, and z equals a squared plus b squared. Awesome. So we were able to solve this equation, but again, our goal is to solve for x, y, z, not m and z. So how do we put this together? Well, we do have the x, y values here in terms of m and n. So what we can do now is go ahead and substitute. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and replace 
m with a squared minus b squared here, and then so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and see what happens from here. So this gives me, basically, x is equal to m squared minus n squared. So I'm going to replace m with a squared minus b squared squared. Maybe I should just write it here. There's more room, and I can kind of explain a little bit what I'm doing here. Okay, so m is equal to you know, a squared minus b squared, right? So what am I going to do? My goal is to find x. So what is x equal to? m squared minus n squared. So let's go ahead and start with that one. x is equal to m squared minus n squared. I can replace m with a squared minus b squared, right? So it, it'll be squared. And I can replace n with 2ab. And this should give me the answer for x. Let's go ahead and simplify that. Now notice that I'm squaring a difference of two squares, so let's go ahead and use the formula. a to the fourth power minus 2a squared b squared plus b to the fourth power, and then I have minus 2, and of course I'm going to square that, so it's going to become 4a squared b squared. Now let's go ahead and combine like terms here, 2a squared b squared and 4a squared b squared, which is negative of course, are like terms, so let's go ahead and combine them, and this gives us x equals a to the fourth power, minus 6a squared b squared plus b to the fourth power. So this basically gives us the value of x in terms of the parameters a and b. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for y. And remember, y is equal to 2mn, right? So y is equal to 2mn. Let's go ahead and do that. y equals 2mn. And remember, m is equal to a squared minus b squared, and n is equal to 2ab. If you put these two together, you're going to get 4ab times the quantity a squared minus b squared. If you go ahead and distribute, you're going to get 4a cubed b minus 4ab cubed for the value of y. Okay, so that's the x value. This is the x value. That's the y value. And now we're going to go ahead and find the z value. But z, already, z is already known because we know that z is equal to a squared plus b squared. So what we're going to do now is we're basically going to go ahead and put these together. So this is my x value, this is my y value, and my z value is equal to a squared plus b squared. Let's go ahead and put these three together and write our answer as an order triple, and that's basically going to be all the solutions that we're finding here. Okay, so basically our goal was to solve for x, y, z, and remember the original equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to z to the fourth, and here's the solutions to this equation. x comma y comma z. Now I can ex express x as a to the fourth minus 6a squared b squared plus b to the fourth power, and I can express y as 4a cubed b minus 4ab cubed, and as you know, I don't really have much room here, so I'm going to go ahead and move the stuff a little bit so that I can fit it on this page, right? Okay, and then for z, what am I writing? z is equal to a squared plus b squared. Okay, so that's basically going to be all the solutions that I'm finding here. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.